Good morning. I'm meteorologist Kevin Smith here again with your weather hazard briefing from the National Weather Service in Pocatello. Today's Thursday, February 22nd. Three key points as we look at the weather here over the next few days. First, the good news for most of you, a break is finally developing. Uh, a more organized, a higher confidence break, less shower activity, less risk of snow, more sunshine out there across our southeast Idaho forecast area. So looking through this here, weak high pressure ridging is going to build in. It's going to provide that break. Quiet weather conditions, mostly dry conditions, not a lot of wind, steady temperatures, very comparable to what we've seen the past few days. I do have a little caveat in here that minus a couple brief light low impact rain or snow showers today, possibly into tonight as well. And patchy morning freezing fog. We've seen that just about every morning, at least somewhere here in southeast Idaho over the past few days. And we'll continue to run the risk of nothing widespread, but just a few patches of dense morning freezing fog here or there, both this morning and as we go into Friday morning. So outside of this, though, outside of maybe a brief light rain or snow shower could occur just about anywhere today, but particularly up in uh, our northeastern areas, kind of from Idaho Falls northward and eastward. Um, generally dry conditions, more sunshine building in. Again, it's going to be fairly decent break here for most of you from today into Friday, into Saturday, even into a little bit of Sunday for most of the region. Except, what is this possible ice? We do have some forecast guidance that's hinting at the potential for some light freezing drizzle this evening into late tonight and Friday morning, particularly north and east of Idaho Falls. We'll take a look at that here in just a moment. So a little bit of a fly in the ointment there up in the northeastern area, part of our forecast area. Now, we'll put this on your radar as well. We're not going to get into a lot of specifics during this briefing, but we're slowly seeing some increasing confidence in a fairly large winter storm system dropping into the northern Rockies and the Great Basin as we go into very early next week with snow, um, also rain at lower elevations and strong winds. And that'll be arriving from northwest up in the central mountains down into the southeast between Sunday evening and Monday morning, kicking off our new week. So we'll we'll lightly touch on that, but definitely that's what we'll be talking about here as we go forward uh, with our briefings over the next couple days. So have that on your radar here as you're planning. <clears throat> Weather risk outlook here for the next five days. It looks like there's a lot going on. It's really not as bad as it looks. We're just trying to cover some of those sneaky hazards out there that we're seeing, like the patchy morning fog that we have painted in here for this morning and also Friday morning uh, for most of the region outside of the Central Mountains. Um, also have just a few light snow showers kind of painted in here in the northeastern highlands. Really, there's a chance we could see a light passing rain or snow shower just about anywhere. So I don't want anyone to, to completely have that off your radar for today. We're not expecting impacts out of this. Nothing should be very prolonged. Maybe the best potential in the northeast, but a, a little bit of that holding on here for today. Otherwise, mostly a break into Friday, mostly a break other than that uh, patchy morning fog. Here's your freezing drizzle potential. We're going to talk about that, uh, like I said, in just a moment. Um, for the Snake Plain, this is really up toward Idaho Falls and points north and east, including Rexburg. Uh, not so much for Pocatello, we don't think. And then the Northeast Highlands, Victor, Driggs, Island Park, Ashton, uh, St. Anthony, those areas uh, will be under the gun here for that potential as we get into late this evening into the overnight, possibly through the morning hours on Friday. So I wanted to highlight that. Saturday, not much going on. Sunday, mostly a break for most of the day, except you can see down here as we get into the Island Park area, but particularly our, our various central mountain zones, starting to see some of that evening snow or evening snow shower activity working in from the northwest. We'll also start to see an increase in wind just a little bit on Sunday afternoon, so this will manifest as noticeably breezy conditions. Uh, for the most part, not dangerous or hazardous. We're not talking uh, terribly strong winds just yet. And then here's the first day and maybe the core day of the impending winter storm coming in on Monday. Widespread rain and snow, depending on where you're located. Widespread breezy to windy conditions. We've even worded this as blowing snow across portion, portions of the eastern highlands, uh, both southeast and northeast, generally I-15 eastward, uh, where temperatures will support quite a bit of snow over there versus too much rain mixing in. And we'll see uh, impact from this system lingering into Tuesday as well. So uh, particularly from a pattern recognition standpoint, this is looking like a decent storm, decent wind, pretty widespread precipitation, some at least moderate, if not heavy snowfall amounts over about a two-day period. Um, 
some impacts Monday. Monday evening commute may be difficult in some areas. Tuesday morning commute may be quite difficult in some areas. As we start to cool temperatures, a cold front will come through, and we may see some additional activity on Tuesday during the day as well. So keep that on your radar. Uh, Again, greatest impacts right now looking like Monday afternoon or Monday evening extending into Tuesday across the region. Watches, warnings, and advisories. There are none this morning across our southeast Idaho forecast area and even into adjacent parts of Idaho, up into Montana, down into Utah. Just not much going on this morning outside of, again, patchy freezing fog. A few spots will see some black ice, particularly if you saw rain and snow shower activity yesterday evening or into the overnight. Current radar loop pretty quiet this morning as well. This is what I'm talking about with a few of those really light hit and miss brief rain and snow showers. You can see a few specks here across the radar and we may see that continuing today and tonight as well. Um, But again, nothing terribly widespread or impactful out there. Before we jump into temperatures, um, I tried to find a good way to kind of show what we're looking at here for freezing drizzle. I'm going to bring in another window into the briefing here. And we're going to try to do it this way. So hopefully you can kind of see this. Uh, here's the state of Idaho. Uh, if we can follow, kind of follow my cursor, my mouse here. And we're going to advance. Actually, we're going to start right about here. So we're going to start this evening. And I want you to pay attention up here in the northeastern part of Idaho. So here is the Pocatello area, this little black dot. Here's the Idaho Falls area right up here. This is Interstate 15, this north-south red line. And my mouse is right over Island Park now up in our northeast. So look at these blue echoes here. This is simulated radar off of one of our high-res models. And as I advance forward here, just watch this loop. What is all of that activity up there in the northeast? Again, you can see it. And we're kind of ending here uh, late morning, midday on Friday. Let me back up again kind of loop through that. North of Idaho Falls, east of Idaho Falls, up into uh, Du Bois, St. Anthony, Rexburg, Ashton, possibly over toward the Teton Valley. This particular model can pick up on a variety of things. Sometimes this is literally manifesting kind of low stratus clouds that are more of an aviation concern. But in this case, looking over some of our data, looks like the atmosphere may be somewhat favorable for freezing drizzle. And this kind of paints the area quite nicely that we're most worried about as we go into this evening. I'd say dinner time onward. And then through the overnight hours tonight and into the morning hours Friday, we don't have terribly high confidence in this being really organized. It shouldn't be very heavy, but of course, just a little bit of light freezing drizzle, putting down a little bit of ice on sidewalks or roadways can be quite impactful, whether you're out walking or traveling across this region. So keep an eye on this. We're certainly going to be watching it here in the office through the day uh, to see what type of messaging we may need to put out. We'll see how the models trend with this, but low confidence chance of some of that light freezing drizzle from this evening into the overnight and into Friday morning. Again, mostly from Idaho Falls northward to Montana and eastward to Wyoming. Okay, jump back over to temperatures here. Low temperatures this morning, no surprise. These should, numbers should look pretty similar to what we've seen each morning here the past few mornings. And then as we advance, here's today's high temperatures on the left. Very similar. High temperatures Friday on the right. Many areas getting into the upper 30s to low to mid 40s. Of course, warmest for you winters down across the eastern Magic Valley into the Raft River area. Not bad for Pocatello either, getting above 40 degrees. Saturday and Sunday will add just a few degrees. We're still forecasting, here's Sunday over here on the right, still forecasting some mid 50s to come in here across the eastern Magic Valley. As far east as Burley and Minidoka, American Falls, maybe Pocatello. Pocatello and Blackfoot making a run at 50 degrees, so a little hint of spring there. By the time we get out to Monday and Tuesday, remember Monday is the first full bona fide day of this next winter storm. You can see not a lot of change in temperatures just yet. That's going to support that lower elevation rain here in the Snake Plain and Eastern Magic Valley, some of the adjacent valleys, snow across uh, most of the mountain areas. Cold front. Here comes the cold front on Monday evening, dropping those temperatures. Look at the highs on Tuesday over here on the right. Much colder in comparison to what we've been seeing. That's going to change everyone over to snow. And in addition to ongoing snow concerns, ongoing wind concerns over both days, there's a lot of moving parts here. We're even seeing some signs we may see a snake plane convergence snow band develop. Some of you have heard us use that term before, where the wind flow may be just right to generate kind of an area of enhanced snowfall somewhere over the Snake Plain here, uh, possibly from Idaho Falls and Arco down toward Pocatello and even Burley. And we 
don't have a lot of good data to pin down the exact location and track of that just yet. We're several days out, um, but we, we may certainly still see some impacts from this winter storm lingering through the day Tuesday, uh, bringing some snow even down into the lower elevations that were mostly rain on Monday. So we'll be talking a lot about this with a lot more detail here in the next few days, but just keep that in mind that that storm is on the way. Through this graphic in here again, it's good to review the fog safety information. Again, we may see some patches of dense freezing fog out there this morning, so please keep this in mind and be prepared for that if you are traveling. That's what we're looking at. If you have questions, comments, concerns for us, as always, please reach out with the information at the bottom of this slide, and have a great Thursday.